Welcome back. In this video, we are going to be focusing on the metadata for our site. So things like browser titles, the folder names that we've already briefly covered, the page description for our site, and some other meta tags. We're also going to be covering RapidWeaver's SEO health check to ensure that our site is SEO friendly. So I've got our site open in Safari here, and you can see that we have all of the customizations that we made in the previous lesson. But as I say, what we're going to focus on here is more of the metadata for our site. Now in this video, I'm going to be using some of Safari's developer tools. If you don't have the develop menu open or available inside of Safari, what you need to do is go to the Safari preferences, go to the advanced tab, and then show the develop menu in menu bar. That will then give you this develop menu here, and you will be able to inspect the code behind the page. So if you right click or control click and inspect the element, what we're going to do is have a quick look at just some of the code inside of the head area here. Okay, so the first thing I want to focus on is the title or the browser title for our page. Now this browser title can be shown here and by default it is the page name followed by a pipe and then the site title so about Ben Council and that code is available here on the title tag inside of the head. Now we'll want to customize this to be more descriptive and the main reason for doing this is because search engines will use this as the title for your search results and they do weight heavily on the keywords that are used inside the browser title. Now we're not going to go too much into SEO we have a dedicated RapidWeaver SEO course if you're interested in that. I'm just covering the basics and showing you how you can customize things like this to improve not only the appearance of your site inside of search engines, but also how well you rank inside of the search engine results. Okay, with that being said, let's go to RapidWeaver and have a look at how we can customize the browser title. So let's go back to RapidWeaver. And we're going to focus on the home page to start with and make sure you have the page inspector open on the general settings and then you will see a browser title field here and as I said by default what RapidWeaver will do is use the page title followed by the pipe figure and then the site title so just to illustrate that what we have on the home page is home and then the pipe figure and then our site title so home Ben Council now that's not very descriptive what we want to do is use something more like Ben Council is a designer and developer at RealMac Software, something like that. So let's just pop that into the browser title here. Okay, then if we go back to Safari and preview our home page, you'll see that the site title has been updated here in the browser. But also if we look at the code, so inside the head element here, you'll see the title has been updated. And as I say, this is the title that will be used in your search engine results, and it will weigh heavily on how well you rank in those search engine results as well. So that is how you customize the browser title. Next, what I want to focus on is adding a description meta tag. The description meta tag is probably the most important one that you need to add for each one of your pages inside of RapidWeaver. And again, we haven't got time to go into the finer details about why you want a page description. If you want more information, check out the RapidWeaver SEO course. However, the description is also used in the search engine results. So that's the paragraph of text underneath your page title. And actually, I can show you that quickly if we just search for RapidWeaver. You'll see here, the obviously RealMac software is the first result. Now the text here is the browser title. So in our case what we would get is Ben Council is a designer and developer at RealMac software in this area here. Now the description meta tag is the text that will be used here underneath the title. So as to say it's one of the most important to ensure that you have customized for each one of your pages. Not necessarily because you will rank higher it just makes your site look more professional in search engine results. So as I say, we want to look at how we can customize this page description. So to do that, let's go back to RapidWeaver. 
And then what you want to do is go to the Meta Tags tab in the Page Inspector. And you'll see that we have a dedicated input area for the description meta tag. Now I'm not going to write a custom description. All I'm going to do is copy this text and paste it into here. And you'll notice that there is a counter here. Ideally, you should keep this within 155 characters, or 150, I believe, so 150. And you'll see that rapidly we will turn red when we get over 150 characters. So try and keep your description under 150 characters. And this is because Google won't actually display anything more than roughly 150 characters. Okay, the other thing to note is that this description text here ideally should be included in the page content. So try and have the description here inside of your page content here. Okay, so that's how we add a description. If we go back to Safari and preview that, and we go and look inside the head element again, and we have a look at the description meta tag here, you'll see that we have the customized text that we entered into the description meta box here. Okay, next up there are some robot settings. I would suggest that you just leave these as index this page and follow links. If you want to tweak this further, have a read up about why you want to uncheck this. We haven't got time to go into details. We're gonna move straight on to the tags box here. Now this is where you can add custom meta tags. Now there are many meta tags that you can add. I'm just going to add one for the author of this page. So to add a meta tag, click the plus button. The name will be author and the content will be Ben Council, so my name. Now when we go back to Safari and refresh the preview, you'll see we now have that author meta tag as well with the content of Ben Council. So that's how you add any type of standard meta tag to your page. What you might also want to do is add some open graph meta tags to your page. So if I just do a quick search for open graph meta tags, like so. Now this is important for social media sites. They will use these additional meta tags to display specific information about your page when someone shares it on, for example, Facebook. Now if we go to the open graph protocol, and we scroll down here and we can have a look at how we could add the open graph title meta tag, for example. So in the example here, so just to explain quickly before we do that, in the example here, what's happening is that we are providing Facebook, for example, more detailed information about the content on this page. And in this example, they are giving detailed information about the rock, so the movie, the rock and they are giving a very detailed URL. So this is where we would want Facebook to link back to when someone shares this page. And we're also providing an image. So this would be the preview image that is used when someone shares the page on Facebook. Okay, now the reason I am showing you the code behind the open graph meta tags is because it doesn't conform to the standard name and content meta tag. So what I mean by that is if we just go back to Safari quickly, and we choose the author meta tag that we added, you'll see the template box here has the standard meta tag code. So by default, the template box has the standard meta tag code, and that conforms to a meta and then a name equals the name and content equals the content. However, when you look at the open graph meta tags, you'll see that we have meta and then property and then content. So it's slightly different. So what we want to do is customize the template for the open graph meta tags that we add. So let's just do the open graph title to show you how that works. So we'll copy this open graph title property. We'll go back and we will add a new meta tag. We'll paste that into the name box and then we will use the example on the open graph website here of the rock. And we'll paste that into the content. Now what we want to do is customize the meta template because if we go back to our live site or our local site here and refresh the preview, you'll see that we have meta name equals open graph title and the content is the rock. However, what we want it to be is meta property. So to do that, we go and modify the template and all we need to do is say property like so. Then when we go back to our preview, you'll see that we now have the correct open graph meta tag code. So meta property equals open graph title. 
okay just to reiterate let's go and do the URL one here as well so I'm going to copy the URL there and we are open graph colon URL so we will add another meta tag and it's OG colon URL and the content is this link and again we want to customize the template so this is property instead of name now when we go back to the preview here you'll see that we then have those two open graph meta tags available inside of our page code okay so I think that covers it for meta tags inside of RapidWeaver you've seen how you can add a description customize the robots indexing and add standard meta tags and custom open graph meta tags as well so it's very flexible and what I'm going to actually do is just delete these two because we we're obviously not talking about the rock on this page and I'll leave the author one as is for now so as I mentioned earlier what you want to do is go through all of your pages on your site and at least add a description into and at least add some content into the description meta tag we're obviously not going to do that for the site as this is just a quick tutorial on how to add that what we are going to cover just before we finish up is the SEO health check inside of RapidWeaver 7. And you can open up the health check by clicking on this button here. And what the health check will do is provide us with a list of suggestions to improve the SEO performance on our site. And if we have a scroll through some of the suggestions that we've got here, you'll see, for example, we need to improve the banner accessibility, which we'll look at doing in just a minute. And then if we scroll down, You'll see on the contact page, we need to provide a browser title. Now, because we've already done that on the home page, we're obviously not getting that suggestion inside the health check. However, we haven't done it for the contact page. So you'll see we need to add a browser title and a description meta tag. And we also need to do that on the about page as well. And you'll notice that we need to improve the page banner accessibility for the contact page because we have a custom banner on that page. Okay, so let's have a quick look at how we could fix up a couple of these issues. So the first one is improve banner accessibility. So to do that, click the fix button and you'll be taken to the area of RapidWeaver where you need to fix this issue. And for the banner accessibility, it's in the general settings. Then we scroll down and you'll see that we need to add some banner alt text. Now the alt text should be a description of the image. So in this example, I'm just going to say Ben's desk with a selection of things he's made. So that would describe the content inside of here. So if we open up the health check again and we refresh, you'll notice that that warning has been removed from the site settings area here. Okay, we're not going to add a fav icon or web clip as I don't have any of those images uh, set up for this demonstration. However, all you need to do is drag and drop in the images into the areas here okay we're going to focus on the contact page next so we need to add a browser title so we'll click on the fix button we'll be taken to the page inspector general settings and we need to add a browser title so for this one we will just say get in touch with Ben okay then if we open up the health check again and we do a refresh you should start to get the idea that those warnings are going to be removed as we fix them. So the next one we needed to do was add a description meta tag. So again, we'll click the fix and then we'll be taken to the correct area of the page inspector and we just need to enter a description here as well. So what we could add is some of the dummy text I've got here. So let's just copy over some of this and paste it back in. And you can see we are 235. Now it doesn't matter if you go over 150, you won't be penalized inside of Google or anything like that. It's just good practice to keep it under 150 characters. So let's just delete a little bit of this text, like so. Open up the health check again, and just quickly have a look at the next one. We need to improve the banner accessibility for the contact page. So we need to add some alt text here. Then if we open up the health check again and do a refresh, you should start to see that all of those warnings and errors are being removed as we fix things throughout the site. Okay, we're not gonna fix up any more of those issues inside of the health check uh, suggestions. 
obviously you'll want to go through and do that for all of your site um, but we haven't got any more time for this video so in the next video I'm going to introduce you to the popular third-party add-on stacks and show you how we can use that to create a more custom designed page inside of RapidWeaver. So once you're ready, I'll see you there.